Oh, hello. Welcome into my workshop and welcome to the show Creations in Clay. My name is Louis Palladini and tonight we're celebrating my 100th show. I do want to thank you for all my fans out there who watch and support the show. Tonight, as in a celebration of that, I like to do a beautiful butterfly. And I'll show you how to make that from start to finish. And now I'm going to show you the types of clay that we can use. There's this modeling clay, which never hardens. And uh, this is the one I used to use all the time as a kid. And you can use that. And uh, what's great about this is it doesn't harden, so you can use it over and over again. Another type of clay which can be bought in the art store is this air hardening clay, which you know, probably harden in a couple of hours or overnight, and you can paint it and it's permanent. My preference for the clay is a clay called Super Sculpey, which can be baked in the oven about 275 degrees for about 15 or 20 minutes. You can drill it, sand it, you can make a tremendous amount of detail. It's an awesome clay to use. The size balls of clay that we'll be using tonight, we're going to be using these two balls of clay here for the wings and then the smaller ball of clay we'll be using for the body. I'll show you what we'll do the body first. Now the body is comprises of this black piece right here in the center with the head and that's going to be the easiest piece to make so I'll show you how we will do that. You can take the best way to do this, see I'm just going to roll this a little bit on the table like this, go back and forth like that. Just like that. Just roll it like that. Now that we've done that, I can take and I'm going to make, this is going to be the tail. See how I'm making that? I'm going to kind of make it into a nice little point. So I squeeze it from both sides. See how that's starting to look like a point right there? You're not going to make it a sharp point, but it'll be enough of a point that... Just do it like that. And then for the head, I want to show you on this, we'll make this a little... We'll round, round this with your fingers and thumb, just like that. And see, I'm going to squeeze this a little bit to make them go like this and see how see that see how I did that it's kind of like a, like a, a sharper point down here I rounded it and you want to pinch it right around here to make that a little thinner and what I'm going to do is compare it to my other model to see if it's approximately the same size which it is See how those are about the same size? You know, don't worry about the proportions a little off. I just wanted to show you the techniques on how to do this. The next thing that we want to do is make the wings. So what I want to do is take a ball of clay here, and we're going to start to flatten this out. See how I'm doing that? Take your fingers and flatten it out like that. And then... We're going to work it, and I'll show you the shape that we want. See, I'm starting to make like a little point up there. That's going to be the upper part of the wing. And then we have like a smaller piece down here. So we'll just keep working it like that. It's See how it's starting to take shape? See the shape that we're making? We're going to keep working that. Just like that. And then flattening it out. And then... So that's approximately the size we want. What I'm going to do is compare it to my previous model here, and I want to see how I can, what I need to do. So it looks like I need to make this a little bigger on the bottom, on this piece, and uh, make this a little thinner. So we'll proceed to do that. 
So what I'm going to do is take and work this a little more on the bottom. And then I'm going to take my finger and kind of push that to the side like that. And then, so at some point, what we want to do is make, I want to take a toothpick. I'm going to take this toothpick right here, and we're going to kind of go in like right here. See what I'm doing with the toothpick? I'll show you. See I'm doing that? Just like that. So what I want to do is round this out, make this a little more round. See that? Make that a little rounder. Just like that. See how that's starting to sh take shape? That's the shape that you want. Just like that. And then now what I'm going to do is compare it to my previous model again. You know, this appears to be a little bigger, but that's all right. I'm just trying to show you the technique and how to make the wings. And we'll proceed to make the second wing. So what I'm going to do is pick this up flatten this out with my fingers, see how I'm doing that, pinching it. Then I'm going to make the upper part of the wing right here. Then I'm just going to work this, I'm going to pull this down here for the lower part of the wing. See that right there? I'm, this is actually going to be the lower part of the wing right here. So. And I'm, see, I'm flattening that out. Just take your finger and thumb to do that. And then what I'm going to do now is, is squeeze this a little bit more. Flatten that out nicely. And when we're going to make that shape, I've got to work it a little bit more. Pinch it. And I'll work this a little more on the bottom. You see, just keep pinching it. And so I'm going to compare it to my other wing. See how it's not quite exactly the same, so we're going to work it a little bit more. And I'm going to fix that. What I'm going to do is we're going to take our toothpick again. So we go in from here. See so I'm doing that? Just like that. See what I just did? And now, now it's starting to look a little better. See that? And now I'm going to put one on top of the other, see if they're approximately the same. See? They look approximately the same now. So see that? When we do that, I just want to make sure I'll just double check, make sure that, don't worry if they're not perfect. It, uh, you know, the more you practice with the clay like this, the better you'll get at it. And I'll show you what we'll do. This here, I want to make sure that's approximately the right size. 
push this here. I'm going to take my finger and kind of go like that because that's what I'm going to attach to the body. And now what I think we'll do, we'll draw the pattern that we need for the, the wings. See the, the pattern I made on this, these wings? I put lines. And what I want to do is I want to do, put those on the wings right now. So when I attach it here, it, uh, I'll show you what we'll do. What we're going to do is take, and we're going to do, so like this here, I'll show you. We'll take this, see how we're making lines here? Just like that. And then I want to put this down. I want to make another pattern up here. See this here? And I've done that. And now what I want to do is, you'll see this here, and we'll go across like this. And now, I will show you, we'll make more patterns like this. And then we'll go, see how we're going across like that? Just like that. See how I'm doing that? And that's, that's the nice pattern that we want. And then we'll proceed to do the same thing for the other wing. So we'll take this. So we'll do that. See how we're just doing that? And then what I want to do is just as I, like I did for the other one, I want to draw a pattern like this. Like that. Then I'll do some lines on here. And then we'll proceed to do the lines here. So we're doing that. Gives it a nice pattern. Just like that. And now what I want to do is we're going to take a look at the body again. So what I want to do is make eyes on the the, this is the head, that little piece there. And see this? We're going to stick this in right here. And we'll rotate that a little bit. See the eye? And then we'll proceed to do the same thing on the other side. And what I'm going to do is put that in there like that. And just kind of rotate that a little bit. We have our eyes. The next thing that I want to do is I want to attach the, the wing. So what we'll do, see I'm doing this? Go from behind, see that? And take and attach it from behind like this.
And then we'll do the same here. So we'll take, push that together like that. And we'll take your finger and pinch like that. What I want to do is extend the tail out a little bit more down here. So I'm kind of pulling that out. And then what I want to do, I want to put this down on the table briefly. And what I want to do is take, see I'm taking this and kind of go up like this and attach the wing this way so it's attached from this side. See, I'm doing that with the toothpick. And then I'll proceed to do the same on the other side. See, I'm doing that. And then, you know, we can, we can fix the lines. So any lines I damage, just go back over like this. The same thing here. And now you have a beautiful butterfly. I'll hold it this way. You can see it. Don't worry if the proportion is a little off. You just keep practicing. But that's a very simple way to make a beautiful butterfly. And now this is ready to be fired in the oven. And now that the butterfly has been fired in the oven, it is now ready for painting. And I will show you the colors of paint and the types of paint that we'll use. There's acrylic paints. There's about 18 in this package, which can, which can be bought in any art store. And what I'd like to do is uh, show you the colors that I want to use tonight. There's blue. We're going to use black. We're going to be using gray. And then we're going to be using white. And that's what I'm going to use for the eyes. I'll show you the size brushes that we'll be using tonight. I just want to put these to, off to the side. We'll use this brush here to paint the main part of the body or the wings. And we'll use that for the blue paint. We are going to be using this size brush here with a very fine tip for the eyes. Then I'll be using, I'll grab a couple more brushes here. I know when we put the gray, I'll probably use a, a smaller brush like this. And then for the black, I'll probably use this brush here. And the first thing that I want to do is I want to show you, we're going to paint the eyes. We made, it used, we made a couple of pinholes for the eyes, which you can see right here. And I'm going to use the white paint to fill those in. So it'll be a nice, good contrast with the black paint that will go over for the head and the body. So we're going to take the white paint. And see this? We're going to put that right in that little hole there. And then I'm going to move it around to the other side. And we'll do the exact same thing. This, the hole is right there. Now, I probably smudged the paint a little bit, so when I paint the black paint over it, it'll, it'll take care of that. The next thing that we want to do is we'll do the black. See this section right here? And I just go over it like that. Go back and forth a little bit. We're going to do that. Now what I'll do is I'll flip it. We can do the un we can do the underside too a little bit, like the tail here. I'll do that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to paint. See, so we're going to paint the head black. And 
And this is where, you know, we'll paint right around here. See that? Let's see. See how that is? You saw the white eye. And then the other places that I want to, on the wings, there's an area right here. We'll paint that black right here. So do that. Right there. So I did that. Just we'll do that portion. And then over here, we'll do the same thing. And then what we'll do is the next thing that I want to do, I want to paint one of the wings blue. I'll just show you one side because I need to hold I need to ha at least have one wing that isn't painted. Otherwise, I'll be getting paint all over my hands. So I'll show you. We're going to paint the blue side. See this here? Just like that. Just kind of dab it on like this. We'll get to the top. See, I'm doing the sides like that. Do in there. And then I want to just do this. Paint right up to the black. See how we did that? Just like that. See how nice that looks? And now, the next thing that we want to do is we want to do the gray dots. And I'll show you how we're going to do that. So I'm going to take this, and we're going to do this. We're going to do a dot like this. See this? Dot, dot, dot. Dot, 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 like that. And then we're going to proceed to do the same thing up here. Put a dot here, dot there. Just going to put a couple more. So I'll show you what the final version will look like. You're going to do that exactly what I did here in this wing. You're going to do it in the other wing. And this is what the final version of the butterfly will look like. As you can see, I do have the, it might be a little hard to see, but I did use the white dots where I made the pinholes for the eyes. I painted the black body and the black on part of the wings. So now we painted the blue here for both the wings. And then the gray, as you can see, I did the dots all along the side here. And then I did the dots along here. So that's what the final version of the butterfly should look like. And I do want to thank you for coming to Creations in Clay. And I do look forward to seeing you again next week. Goodbye for now. Thank you.